What's going on, guys? As I enter year seven of the dividend investing journey, I'm making sure that you guys are coming along on this ride with me. But I'm going to be changing things up a little bit this year. So you guys can see the portfolio. It's now reached $186,000, up just $1,800 today alone. It's been a great time to be invested in the stock market. In case you didn't know, over the past six years, I've been sharing exactly what companies paid me and how much in dividends every single month. So make sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss videos like this every single month. Passive income is the best type of income because I can get it for doing absolutely no work. This is money that I can use to pay all the bills, so let's get straight into it. Getting hundreds of dollars in passive income isn't hard, especially if you own fantastic companies like Home Depot as evidence. Had you been a shareholder since 2007, their shareholders received an annualized dividend raise of 16% every year. Imagine getting a big raise at your job every single year for doing no work. Paying just 90 cents for the whole year in 2007, that has now risen to $8.36 for every share owned of Home Depot in this current year. The stock price has rapidly risen to almost 900% unrealized capital appreciation and big dividend checks. What a great combo. Don't ever let anybody tell you that dividend stocks don't go up. All right, guys, now for the reason you actually clicked on this video to see all the dividend checks I got paid in the month of January. So the first company to pay me was not actually a company, but an ETF. We got JP Morgan Chase's Jeppy. Everybody's trying to replicate and, and imitate them, but there's only one Jeppy out there and they paid me $20.95. All right, next company to pay me was VG Properties, paying me a whole 17 cents. So you might be wondering what happened to my VG position. This is what happens when you do covered calls. Sometimes your shares get called away. So as a result, I no longer own my 100 shares of VG. I own a very small fraction of what I used to own but 17 cents isn't too bad. But I think Vici's at a great bargain right now, well over a 5% starting yield, might just have to start up back in this position. How about Chubb Insurance guys, paying me a whole $2.58. How about this company, always on the dividend boards, always one of the highest shorted stocks out there, Medical Properties Trust, paying me $19.25. It doesn't matter how low that share price has gone, Medical Properties Trust is still paying me quarterly dividends, and that's what I hope to keep getting from this company going forward. All right, after MPW is another REIT that I can rely on, and that is O oh, Realty Income, paying me a whole $22.47. And 47 cents. Investing in O makes you a landlord in a way. Over 15,000 properties across the world. How about this dividend aristocrat, Medtronic, paying me $15.89? All right, this definitely boosted my dividend income for this month. I got paid a whole $48 from owning what just three shares of costco they had that special dividend of 15 dollars, so it really paid helped pay the bills this month 48 dollars. costco known to habitually pay fat dividends over the years so if i keep accumulating my costco position hopefully that's more in special dividends i may one day receive one etf that's made me super rich is the triple q's they paid me five dollars and 54 cents in dividends but again, the amount I've gotten in capital appreciation is well into the thousands. We got the mortgage company Rhythm Capital paying me $3.78 and it went into buying more shares of Rhythm Capital. Of course, I couldn't forget the old reliable and QYLD, Q yield, the NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF, the OG paying me $18.80. And then we can't forget SPY, S&P 500, largest companies in the United States paying me a whole 25 cents. Man, it's time to start adding more into my position in SPY. How about the bank that I'm holding a lot of my cash in $25.72 from JP Morgan Chase. JP Morgan Chase has also went up a lot in share price. This is just another way to showcase that owning dividend stocks, it's a way to get paid by just holding on to them and seeing that capital appreciation and then collecting those quarterly, sometimes monthly dividend checks. This is how rich people grow wealthy. They hold on to assets, they're buying assets 
while poor people, they're buying liabilities. I also wanted to show that I got paid $45.60 in my uninvested cash, my money market fund. This won't count toward my dividend total, but I just wanted to showcase this because this is still passive income that I didn't need to lift a finger for. All right, at the start of the year, I also got paid in my Roth from Divo, another income ETF, paying me $3.06. You might notice a lot of the income ETFs I own, they don't totally erode their capital to pay out dividends. What a crazy thought. But no, it is still not free money. And no, it doesn't matter how much you believe in a stock or ETF, you believing in something doesn't mean it's gonna come true. Got paid $6.13 from the S&P 500 covered call ETF, X yield $6.13 from them. How about Stag Industrial paying me $3.09? Nice owner of warehouses across the world. Packaging Corporation of America, PKG, paying me $6.87. This is a corrugated box company with almost 100 locations in the United States providing people with packaging solutions. How about Main Street Capital? Just announced another great earnings report, raised that dividend, and this past month, they paid me $2.93 a month Monthly paying BDC. And I had more uninvested cash in my Roth. I got paid $52.02 from my uninvested cash that's just sitting in SPACs that invest in US government bonds and treasuries and is basically as safe as it gets in terms of an investment. SPACs pays close to a 5% yield. That's super juicy. It's amazing when your money makes money for you. Altogether, I had 17 companies pay me for a grand total of $205.48. That is a 27% increase from last January when I made just $161. It's really crazy how much of a difference a year makes. My monthly dividend average is now $264. I'm getting so close to reaching $300 in passive income each month. This $1.20 increase happened in just one month. Now my quarterly total is now up to $800. That's a $3.59 raise since just last month. Now altogether in my money market accounts, I got paid $98.21. I've been leaving a lot of cash on the table as I've been paying boatloads of money on a bathroom remodel that I'm doing at my condo. And I've also been unfortunately having a lot of work done on my teeth. Guys, please take care of your teeth. Go to the dentist. It's super expensive if you put it off and also super painful. Now I'm still making more money going to the bathroom at work. No comment on if those bathrooms are remodeled or not, but every single month I'm getting that much closer to financial freedom. Having all my bills paid by my investments is consistent, it's reliable, and it's here to stay. It's also something I could pass on to my kids. Well, I guess for me to do that, I would have to have kids first. But let me know what companies paid you this past month and how your dividend investing journey is going so far. Remember that my videos are always found in podcast form under the Collect Cash podcast name. Leaving a like really helps out a small time YouTuber. Make sure you're subscribed and I will catch you on the next one.